What's up, glorious people, glorious geek, back again with another Loot Crate Unboxing. Okay, real talk. Before I open this, this may or may not be my last ever Loot Crate. And I will tell you why. So, personally, I love Loot Crate. I love the idea of it, the subscription box, the mystery box. Because you never know what you're going to get. And it's all about geek gear, gamer gear. And it's fantastic. The problem being, I believe Loot Crate has stretched itself too far now. They've got boxes for like Harry Potter, WWE. Which I would love to get, but it's just too much money. They've got the Loot Crate DX. Which is a more expensive version of the Loot Crate. And to be, and you, you get a lot better gear in it. There's, I think I've watched Boogie2988 open up one once. And it had like a Godzilla awesome figure, uh, a Predator figure in it, and an awesome ceramic mug with for King Kong. And this was all in one box. I mean, I think I don't know if they're about fifty dollars each. So you get a bit, you get a lot more in it, and they're a lot better stuff. Um, the normal Loot Crate boxes, which I get, uh, there's been a little bit of a decline. I mean, the T-shirts. The quality of them are getting better, much better. Haven't got a problem with the t-shirts. The problem that I've had recently is that the Q figs that you get in it, uh, you, if you see my reactions, you know that I love them. I absolutely love them. Problem being that in my local area, there's a place called Home Bargains, which is like a posh version of a pound store. Uh, they sell a little more, more expensive stuff. Uh, it might be like a five and under if you're in America. But it's the problem being is that I can now buy those very same Q figs that I've gotten in Loot Crates for four English pounds. The main thing I get excited about is the figures in the Loot Crates. Uh, well, we used to get pops in them, uh, the Funko Pops. I was over the moon. I used to love them because they were Loot Crate exclusives. Again, problem being that you can now buy these in stores for not very much at all. Up to ten dollars. Eh, ten dollars. Between seven and ten pounds you can buy these loot crate exclusive pops. Which again, why am I spending twenty two pounds to get them shipped from America when I don't even know if it's gonna if I'm gonna like it or if it's what I want. So, I have getting this month because it is animation and it's got Rick and Morty, um, I think Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Bob's Burgers, I think so there's supposed to be something in there. And it's all stuff I love, so I have stuck with this month. I just feel that with the £20 that I'm spending, I can probably go and actually buy a couple of exclusive pop figures from somewhere else. Go on a hunt for a chase, possibly, and actually get what I want or something that might actually be valuable in the future. So, sorry for starting the video like that. I know it's a Loot Crate unboxing, and that is what we are here to unbox. So, let us start. Hey, this might all be awesome stuff, and I might just keep with the Loot Crate. I don't know. I'm in two minds at the moment, I don't know what to do. Let's have a look, let's, well, let's not have a look, let's have a feel around. There's a box, there's a t-shirt. So first off we have a t-shirt and it, it is green. Could this be our turtle t-shirt? Damn you this crate in your awesomeness! This is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle t-shirt. Look at that. Look at that. That is epic. I'm annoyed. Because <laughs> that, that is amazing. I love it. Probably going to the top of my list of my favourite t-shirts now. What else do we have? Let's have a feel around. What is this? Ooh, soft. It is... Futurama Slim, is it, are they called Coolies or 
koozies, koozies. You keep your cans of pop, but uh, uh, cans of lager in my case, cider probably. Um, we keep them cool in the hot summer months. <laughs> that is Slim Futurama. That's probably my favourite episode of Future. One of my favourite episodes in Slim Factory. I love that one. Um, yeah, cool. Again, Loot Crate exclusive. For how long? So I feel. Ooh, that's, ooh, that's heavy. That's quite heavy. The pin. I've got the pin this month. Bob's Burger pin. That is awesome. Jean dressed as a hamburger. Something quite big in a box. It could be a figure. And this is quite he I'm gonna get the heavy one first. Bob's Burger box. What the fuck? The Bob's Burgers box. What the fuck? What is it? I don't know what I'm gonna have to open up. Do 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 do. And we are opening the Bob's Burger box and it is cool, awesome, <laughs> burgers of the day, the Bob's Burgers Burger Box, real recipes for joke burgers. If you watch uh, Bob's Burgers in the background every episode there's a burger of the day or burger of the week on and it changes every week and there's some crazy stuff on there but these are the real recipes to make that Loot Crate you're making it very hard for me to cancel my subscription because this is awesome let's open this up there's one there which is bet it all on black garlic burger I think I remember seeing that one black garlic meal fresh mozzarella burger baby spinach all inside bun there it shows you a diagram on the back these are cool these are actually quite cool and might actually make some of these i don't know what the hell that is i don't know if i would make that one <laughs> texas chainsaw massacred burger habanero peppers on that creme fresh shake your honey maker burger that's so honey feta cheese up to date. Ooh, I don't have that. Baby, you can chive my car. Burger. Now a few little pickles on the side to make it look like a car. This is cool. These are cool. Damn you, loot crate. Got a ugly animation monthly booklet. Got a secret of the keys, which I don't really do because I used to get as a little like the uh, patch badge. Which has, oop, that's gonna have spoilers on it. Let's have a look last because there's one more thing. Damn you, loot great! A Rick and Morty figure. I'm gonna have to check it out of the packaging there. Just to get a good look at it. A Rick figure. From Adult Swim, explicit content. Rick from Peace Among Worlds, season two, episode six. Ah, uh, yes. Now I remember which episode it's from. Let's open this up. It's the one with the mini verses. If you watch Rick and Morty, and this is how he greets people. This is cool. This is awesome, I love it, I absolutely love it. And it comes on an awesome little stand, so you can stand that up. That is freaking awesome. Damn you, Luke Create, this was an epic box. T-shirt was awesome, my figure is awesome. Bob's Burger thing was awesome. And the koozie was cool, a nice little gift. So now I have to deliberate and think will I be getting next month's I'm gonna have a quick look to see what next month's theme is actually it doesn't see is it adventure or something like it's got Lord of the Rings something from Lord of the Rings adventure time cool and the Legend of Zelda mm. maybe I've just had a big rant about nothing maybe I 
shall continue. Maybe I'll give them another month. Uh, or maybe you can suggest some alternative to Loot Crate. Is there anything else out there which you think is better than Loot Crate that I can have a look at and see maybe there's something I can start getting, start buying off of that? Or do I save my money and just buy a couple of pops every month, the ones that I want? I mean, uh, I'm annoyed because this month was awesome. I loved it. The Rick figure is epic. If you liked the video, remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment on what you think I should do. Wubba lubba dub dub, geek out. <laughs>